Did I tell you I'm growing my hair back? I think you did mention that actually. Going back to the the old school Pete. Yeah, I should never have cut it. Well, I, you know, this is like the fourth time I've grown it full long again. I will say that it, you look good with short hair, but it's like part of your character, I feel like, was yeah. missing. Part of my identity, my yeah. soul. <laughs> it was just cool, Is that weird man. to say? I no, mean, like, I get it. it. But it, I, when I first met you, you were like, were you like halfway in was, the growing it like, phase? It was like a month longer than yeah, this. Yeah, it was a little bit longer than this. And you're like, I'm going to grow my hair. Check out these pictures. And I was, you show me these pictures <laughs> where you look like Jesus or something. I'm like, yeah. this was you? <laughs> yeah. Everyone like I've met in the last year is like, wait, you had long hair? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I had epic long hair. Wait, when you said you're going to grow out your hair, all I could picture was like like a gross ponytail. I was like, yeah. are you sure you want to do that? And then you show me those pictures. I was like, oh, yeah, okay. I get yeah. it. I get it. It's it, you do feel like a little a piece of you was gone like when you cut it off. It's a weird. It's a weird vibe. It's like that Samson Samson thing. That yeah. little bit of your power yeah. was gone. <laughs> yeah, you know, you you don't care in the moment. You're like, yeah, sick. It's short. It's, uh, it's so much easier. I can wash my hair so fast. Okay, is is it easier? Oh, to yeah. have a lo- shorter hair um, or longer? Hair? Which is easier? Shorter hair. Okay, absolutely. So I, sometimes I'm like, unless you, to, you just do you nothing, like, and yeah, then you have to like do stuff to your terrible. short hair, and then it's like you know, to style it. Whereas I yeah. feel like long hair, you just like. Depends. If you want long hair that looks clean, looks dirty, looks, yeah, I guess, I guess it's the look or the style. I, mine was kind of always a little, a little bit ratty and dirty, but I, I, I liked it a little more. Like I just tied it up all the time, but, yeah. um, then you, you, you cut it, it's short. And then you see a picture from like two years prior and you're like, damn, I look cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I look pretty cool. There's just something like rock star looking look about this. it. So I was looking up these mic stands, right? Cause I was like, you know what? Remember I used to do some videos with the stand yeah. and I'm like, I want to do that again. Like I, I haven't done that in a while. Bring back the stand. And I sent, I found this, I found this screenshot here and I can send it over to, to model Tyler over there so that we can. Tyler's the best model. I yeah. get the best comments when Tyler models. <laughs> <laughs> look how long, it was right here in this office. Look how long it was. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I just like, I looked at that and I thought. I look cool. You know, that that <laughs> when I see that, that fe- to me feels like years ago. Yeah, and that's like what a year and a half, maybe. Um, uh, not even that long. Yeah. Like I, I cut my hair. No, I, I cut my hair in the summertime, so I've it's been short for about a year. About a year. Not even because I've, I've been growing it back since COVID. <laughs> right. Yeah. Everybody I figured. <laughs> yeah. Everyone. Everyone went for the haircut, and then I thought, you know what? This is a great jump start. Yeah. I'm going back. Yeah. And I love it because I, I took my hat off for the first time in like a video last week and everyone's like, Juke, Juke, I love the new haircut, but they're just, <laughs> I, think, I think they're just confused because they, they haven't seen me without a hat yeah, on yeah, for, yeah. So long. for so long. And they're just like, oh wow, it's happening. Like he's actually doing it. Go so it. this like, I just got to wear this basically for the next two years and then I'll be golden. Two years. And then that's that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So if I start around in March, like it'll be, it'll be in a good place. Uh, probably in the fall of next year, 2021. So I don't know if I'd have the patience Fall for that. 2021, it'll look like it uh, it does Especially in the Especially since there's such there. a long time of like, kind of like awkwardness where you don't really know what, it's like not yeah. long, but it's not short. And it's like, well, yeah. What, 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 are, you, are you a Hanson brothers? You, like, yeah. you know, like, yeah. what, what are you? Mm, <laughs> you kind of just look the worst you've ever looked for yeah. the, a really long time. And yeah. you just gotta be okay with that. You gotta yeah. be okay with looking in the mirror thinking, wow, I'm ugly. Oh. <laughs> That's one of the best parts about getting older. It's just like, I don't care. Yeah. I literally wear the same, like it's not the same shirt, but I have a, a bunch of these black <laughs> yeah, shirts. Same. I have a bunch of pairs of black sh- pants and short. That, like that's all I wear basically. Yeah. Sometimes I mix it up, go a little wild, get a white shirt. <laughs> Dude, sometimes I go Heather Gray. <laughs> I'm like, that's wow. Real. I actually, the other living. day I was looking, I have a very small like, like, bunch of clothes, like a little closet. And uh, I was looking through, I was like, I have gray shirts. Like I haven't <laughs> worn them for like six months at least. Yeah, <laughs> Earth Tones is as crazy as I'll get. Yeah, uh, that's why. Yeah, I have the same thing. If I find a shirt that I like, I'll usually buy like black. I'll usually buy like seven or eight of them. Yeah. I've gone like full Steve Jobs where it's just yeah. like, I don't want to think about like, what what could I wear today? I just like, boom, 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 done. Yeah. Every day. Same Easy. thing. Yeah. Yeah. I like simplify, that. simplify. I, like that. I wear this hat, I wear this hat every day. Yeah. Like, can we talk about this hat for a second? It says Ford on it. Yeah. I'm not sponsored by this, Ford. This episode is sponsored <laughs> by, no. it's funny because a while back, Hey, we should get some sponsors on this thing. Yeah. We should actually like make money from yeah, this that, or something. That'd be awesome. <laughs> we, so before I bought a Raptor. Yeah. 
I, I wanted Ford to give me one. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you were, yeah, you were trying so I, hard. I would just love to, to have one for free that I don't have to pay for. It's always nicer to get something for free yeah, than and to everyone, have to pay for it. <laughs> and everyone told me like, dude, they're never going to just give you a Raptor. I was like, I, I have hope. So all my fans and the audience who are amazing were like, sponsor Pete, like sponsor Pete. Yeah. Everybody's ready for you. And then it you. just got to the point where like, I made that video, the mountains won't remember me. Yeah. Great and, video. Um, Travel Alberta actually got me that Raptor for the video, yeah. which was cool. And that was the first time I really got to like drive it and enjoy it. So when I got home from that and I got back in my Lariat, which is also a great truck, I thought I, I, I'm just doing it. I'm not waiting for Ford. I'm doing it. So I, I went and bought a Raptor. But now everyone thinks they gave me one or because I still wear the hat. Everyone's like, oh, still going for that sponsorship, eh? And I'm like, Okay, one, I'm just a fan. Like, I, I just love Ford. Yeah. Like, I love Ford. I made this hat. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. This isn't even a Ford hat. This is yeah. a hat that you made. Yeah, this is just a Ford patch. it says Ford. It has a massive yeah, Ford patch like, on it. It's a 5950 hat. But it's not like you bought it from a, like a Ford no. store no, dealership no, no, no. or something like that. Yeah, and I, but I do. I do. Do you think I should keep wearing it? Like, what do you think? Because it looks it like I'm promoting them. It depends you're getting them. paid to wear it. Yeah. That's really right. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. So, but the, 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 but how long does the contract say you have to, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought we were going to bring this up. Maddie. Yeah. So that's the thing, right? I, it, is it bad? Like, I'm a fan, but people think I'm sponsored and that whatever I like Ford. I'd say F off. I like, like Ford, but does it, do you think it would deter other brands from wanting oh, to work with yeah, me? I'd, because they're like, Oh, this guy's clearly sponsored by Ford. He wears a Ford hat every day. I feel like I just don't like, I like working with brands, but I don't want to like, I don't want that change thinking yourself? to change what I do or control what I do. I just want to do what... What are you... Sorry. What are you being distracted by now? I just saw a 2021 <laughs> Ford Raptor. <laughs> Tyler, stop distracting Peter. We're trying to focus on... Can we, can we get that on the screen right now? For everyone listening, Tyler just put a giant photo up okay. of a 2021 so this, Ford Raptor that I've never seen. This is the first time you're seeing it. Yeah. Oh. So it's, so it's well, not oh, real. Okay, so it's not. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. It might be a hoax. It's Bummer. not. It's not the real thing. Yeah. Let's let's talk about the Ford Raptor. Yeah. Did, <laughs> I was just gonna say, are you enjoying it? Because okay, so here's here's like the time. Like when I met you, you were driving like uh, an SUV. I don't know. This is the a most CX-5. random podcast, by the way. We're we're talking yeah, whatever, about hair it. and and cars, but I love it. That's what this is. Yeah. Um, you were driving like an SUV. Right? A CX five. There you go. And then you were, you were right away when I met you. Like I want a truck. I Do you know why? You know? I got rear-ended by a Silverado when I was stopped waiting for someone in front of me to turn. Dude yep. hit me at 60, okay, $28,000 of damage, and they still repaired my car. What? It yeah. was in a write-off? Yeah, TD Bank, thanks. Oh, perfect. Thanks. Cheers. Thank you, if you TD. If you're, if this, anyone's this listening, episode is, is not sponsored <laughs> by the worst insurance Can we do, like, ever. negative sponsors? <laughs> yeah. Where the, like, the, the, like, you know, like, a different bank pays us to, like, <laughs> talk bad Thrash. about it. <laughs> so they replaced it, right, which just, crushed and it was like six months old oh, six months old twenty eight thousand dollars damage i was financing it too it doesn't feel like a new car so after that. I, no but i had to take it into the shop and it was gone for three months so when i went to the rental car place do you know what they gave me a silverado that's so poetic <laughs> yeah no way. so i was a bit bummed because uh, it kind of bothered me but i'd never driven a truck before and we just moved into a new community. So it was all muddy and sandy and dirty and right. gross. And I had tons of garbage to get rid of from like moving in boxes. And the best part was there was these dumpsters all over the job site because mm-hmm. it was still like a job site. Like I made friends with the dudes that were just framing houses all day. Like it was like the first house there. So that truck started to prove like super useful for just day-to-day stuff from where I was living. It was practical. Yeah, and I had it for three months, so it started to just feel like mine. Mm -hmm. And I really like grew to like it. And then my car got fixed and I got back in it and was like, oh, no. Like, I, like, and someone got in beside me, and I was like, "We're our elbows are touching. What is? It? What? I feel like a clown in this thing. Like, and I'm six to four. Throw in a bunch of garbage and you have to put it in your trunk. Yeah. What? Like, like well, how do I even put anything in this yeah. vehicle? Like, where does a camera bag even go? How do I fit anything? And then you ended up getting an F one fifty. I'm not a truck person, so I don't yeah, even yeah, know no, that's right. Yeah. Of so it. after that, I've always wanted a black F one fifty. I was like. I'm not a big car vehicle person at Neither all. Neither of us really are. But just like when people would talk about it, like, hey, you could have anything. What would you want? I'm like, honestly, like I've always just wanted a black F-150. And it looked good. Yeah. I liked it. So I, I finally was able to uh, quit my job, 
YouTube full time after like six, seven, eight. Remember months. that conversation where I, I just met you and you're still working full time? And yeah. I'm like, dude, I think you should probably like quit your job and like this might be like a full time thing. And you're like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's only like 300,000 subs. <laughs> yeah. It's like growing I, like insane. I, I, I had to take vacation time off when we went to Italy. Like I had to yeah. like re request those days. I remember that. Yeah. So we <laughs> met and then it was like two weeks later, yeah. like I, I was like, oh, you should come on this trip with me. And you're like, okay, I got to ask for sure. time off. <laughs> like, I, gotta I, double, like, I just got to double check on that. like, what? <laughs> yeah. So, I, so I, I quit and uh, I bought that truck and I was pumped on it and I just loved it. And it was great and great. And then I got more into trucks, more use factors were coming in. I was learning more about them. They were becoming more handy. Then I started towing uh, a jet ski. Um, and then I started putting a quad in the back. So mm -hmm. it started to just like be a part of my lifestyle more than just something I liked. It was now I needed it to do certain things yeah. that I enjoyed in life. So uh, from that, I was like, I, I want a Raptor. Cause I, okay, yeah, that's the goal. That's, that's the goal. Okay. Let's, let's, let's back up. To me, you never, ever said, I want a Raptor. I always, so you always, always talked about bigger trucks or better trucks. This is like part of, I feel like your personality is like you get something and like you're already eyeing the next thing, <laughs> but you spend a long time trying to convince yourself. I don't need that thing. And like, so you're in this like, sometimes I don't. yeah. And, and some, yeah, sometimes you do, convince, but the, with certain things I can tell when you're like, you want it that bad, that like you're gonna work so hard to get that thing or make that yeah. thing happen. Yeah. And I could tell with the truck, but then you want with a, what'd you end so up with? So I didn't, I didn't want to spend the money on a Raptor. That's there, was, yeah. there is just so much money. Yeah. So I thought, okay, I'll just get a Lariat mm -hmm. and I'll change the grill and I'll custom make it and I'll lift it and I'll put new tires and new rims and I'll level, level kit and make it dope. And we did that and, and, it was great. And, it, and it was great and it looked good, but I did that because I wanted a Raptor and it just wasn't, it a, Raptor. wasn't a Raptor. It's <laughs> like, did you watch the last dance? The Michael jo yeah, uh, Jordan yeah, thing. Yeah. So it's, I, I liken it to when he was like 45 is in 23. Yeah. Right. It just doesn't feel like number 45 is in 23. Yeah. So like this Lariat is still, it's not a Raptor. It doesn't yeah. sound like one. It's not, it's not at all the same. The Raptor is made for an entirely different purpose. It's stance is wider. It's more aggressive. It's got better clearance. It's got the skid plates. The tires look gnarly. The stock tires of the 2019 fully loaded are insane. The rims are dope. The Ford logo. I hate now when I see like a Raptor grill on an F-150. Yeah, I just call them like, fake Raptors. Yeah. I get it because I wanted to do it too, but I just, I didn't go that you far. Didn't, didn't I didn't want to be that in. guy. You thought about it. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> like, I wish it. I had a Raptor. It's like, you should have that sticker that goes with the grill. I wanted it, but I couldn't quite yeah. afford it. Or yeah. I couldn't. <laughs> so I, I ended up just, uh, I was leasing that too. So um, I know a guy that owns a Ford dealership. So he helped me out and took it back basically. And then I went and got a, a Raptor. And now. But I don't baby it. Like I put my quad in it. I yeah. throw stuff in the back. It's dirty. Like there is, it's scratched. It's. Do you now have the truck of your dreams? Yeah. Does it feel like it? Like how long you've had, you've had it for what? I got it back in the fall. Yeah. So, so it, was, almost, it was like almost eight months or whatever, like nine month months, something that. like that. Does it still yeah. bring joy? Every day. Yeah. So you know what though? A, the, a truck, let's just say a truck in general. Mm -hmm. Every every time I've gotten in any of my trucks, I've always just thought, ah, oh, I love this. This is fun. This mm -hmm. is fun to drive. I enjoy it. Just fits and your I'm, personality. I feel yeah, like. I can. Yeah, it does, and it's uh, the things you like, the things you, you yeah, enjoy in life. Toast yeah. stuff and throw my Can Am in the back. It, it, it's awesome. So it, I feel like I have some of that too. So I I bought a Tesla, right? Yeah. And I've been like, for me, Tesla was your Raptor. I sure. Like I've always, and I never thought I could like afford to buy any sort of Tesla. Yeah. But likewise. The, yeah, but the prices have gone down, and like, and still very expensive. I bought a uh, Model Three dual motor performance, whatever, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's not cheap at all. Um, and I thought about it for so long, like, I don't know, like I'm not a car guy. So like I thought maybe it's kind of like when we went to, when we went to Switzerland and Italy and we had those Porsches and it was super fun at first. And then by the end of it, I was kind of just like, ah, it's kind of annoying that the trunk is so small and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, you know, like we, yeah. we, we had no space for our gear or anything. Yeah. Like it was like more of just like a bother. Like I remember it, was, there was, it was fun when we go through a tunnel and you press the button to get like the more noise thing. Yeah, <laughs> like I remember that more noise button. And so I thought that 
The Raptor does not need that more noise button. No, it does not. <laughs> and I thought that that's what would happen. Like if I get a Tesla, like it's this thing in my mind and then like I get it. I'm just like, after a month, I'm like, that's kind of annoying. Like, you We're know, off. I have to charge it and stuff like, you yeah. know, like or something like that. But honestly, like it's the one thing in my whole, like since I've started YouTube, it's the one thing that I've actually like spent money on other than like camera gear, which is like business related and all that. Mm -hmm. Buying that car was like the, the only actual luxury thing. And man, I love it. Yeah. It's yeah. like, like it feels good. Every it? day I hop in and there's like these little, like just, just the other day, this might sound like a small thing to other people, but I never had a fancy car. Um, like I just realized that the, you can put on the high beams and it auto shuts them off for you. <laughs> yeah. So like as soon as, it sees, as soon as it sees lights, it's just, I'm like, they oh, that's incredible. Off, yeah. I didn't know it's that. Cool, that right? was like, he cut. and then with Tesla's, they keep getting all these updates. Like now uh, it can like auto steer. So it'll like stay in one lane on roads and it sees stop lights and stop signs. I saw that. So it stops for them or if it's green, it goes, it's funny nowadays, like, you know, sometimes the sun's in your eyes and you're like, I can't see if it's red or, or green. I'll just look at the screen and it's like oh it's green and, that's, uh, and it's I, I, I trust that yeah that's it's so, cool. so like it's so accurate. teslas are awesome it's teslas it's, are amazing i like one of my life goals is to when the cyber truck comes out yeah. get you in one <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm like i look forward to driving one i look forward to you're checking it out you're gonna test it oh for sure yes. i want to walk around i want to look at yes. it i want to like see can i it? be there when we go and test it out yeah for sure let's let's make a video can, out of it can i be there when we go and test it out? <laughs> <laughs> like it's the thing is like i i don't like the way it looks i'm not a fan of it this is where we're on like totally different like at first i was like Ugh, i don't know about this i thought they were gonna take off the shell and it'd be like this beautiful yeah, truck underneath <laughs> yeah same <laughs> But now I love it. And I have a feeling, this is my theory, I've probably said this on here already. Looking at it now. When we see it on the street, when we start seeing those drive around, all the other cars are going to start look, look, looking so old school. Yeah, I believe like, that. Just, just weird shape. Yeah, and, just like, yeah. why? This, that's not, that's so old. Like, this is the future. I just, uh, yeah, I'm reserving judgment I until I experience it. I understand. But for me right now... Uh, and usually the first Teslas, I mean, maybe now they're a little bit better at producing, but in general, the first model, like the first version of the model is usually kind of like, eh, I don't know, there's some issues or That's whatever. That's the thing, you know? right? Like you've got, like how long is it going to be until it's even like not only available, but yeah. not flawed in any way. Yeah. Right. Um, whereas like the Working 2021 the Raptor comes out next year and I'm all over that. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's just going to be dope. Like I just that? don't think it looks... Uh, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, it's not yeah, even a hundred percent. Sell yeah. all the yeah. I already, I've already driven it in my mind. Like I already yeah. own it. It's already in my, my garage. Already. Did you um, see, by the way, straight pipes for their one million? Video he was thing? telling me about it. So they reviewed a side. So that's the cyber truck that they reviewed. But yeah. Watch, watch this. Hold didn't on. they make it? Hold. They didn't make it. But hold on. Watch. Uh, I could go into that. There you go. <laughs> It's like a, a shell. I can't remember if it's like a, a half size or something like that, but it's a smaller, like everything is half, let's say it's half size. Yeah. Everything is half. So like they're like oh so squished goodness. in there, <laughs> but it's electric and it's like all that. And it's like, that's awesome. Exactly the scale, I guess. or whatever. I met, um, Jacob recently yeah, you guys, uh, on the lake. You're just living on the lake every single day. Yeah. That's all I see. Yeah. Every story, every photo is <laughs> you on the lake with your jet ski. Do you have like a, like a, tra can you get like a trailer for jet skis? Is that what you're like <laughs> I, so sleeping my, in? My, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a cabin below. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get down there. I edit my vlogs. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I work on the overheating issues of the R5. <laughs> Under the water. In fact, I, I remember <laughs> you were working on a lot of the 120 that, for example, you yeah. made that in the jet ski. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, I was on the lake. No, I just, uh, I live so close to it and my jet ski's there. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm so jealous. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm jealous of me because <laughs> it's so great to ride that thing all the time. And and I just get, I just try, try to get as many hours on it as I can a week. What, why, what, is it just that you enjoy it? Or are you doing it to like, escape is it yeah like, what is it it's just kind of like a good there's nothing out there mm. it's just empty like it's just water and yeah. it's a good place to like clear your mind uh come up with ideas think about stuff or have chats with people or go out with some friends i got a whole little network of like people i ride with you being one of them every now and then every once in a while uh, but yeah you've been out there like it's just nice it's a nice break. I don't usually get distracted with stuff that's happening from the day to day. I don't feel like I bring it with me out there. So on top of the fact, it's just fun. It's, it's socially distanced fun. Yeah. You know, it's safe actually. right now, which yeah. is, there's not that many things that yeah. you can be like totally like 
I don't have to worry. I think that's part of probably part of it too, like especially now, but like even in the YouTube world, I think it's nice to do something like that where you're not thinking about work or YouTube yeah. or like. I think it's important to have not only hobbies, but things that you can do where I'm like, I'm going to bring my, I just, I'm just going to go. Yeah. I'm making a point now not to bring my camera mm. because every time I go out, I'm like, well, I could make a video, I could make a vlog or I could film this, but then I got to be mindful of that when I'm riding. And you've been, every time I've been out with you, you've got a GoPro stick in your hand or I something. I think every time we've been on jet <laughs> right? skis together, yeah. it's been because I'm like, well, if I'm going to rent this jet ski and it costs me like 200 bucks for these couple hours, which yeah. is for me, it, it hurts every time I have to pay that. Because you like, own one. Oh. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's my parents, but like yeah. I could ride it at the cottage at any time. Yeah. But still like paying 200, that's a lot of money just for like You should just hours. get one and stay, park it next to mine. That's how I'm saying you need to get me, like if you hear that there's like a <laughs> marina slip there, reserve that right away from me right. and I will buy. <laughs> but you actually can't, you, you can't buy a jet ski anywhere in North America right now. They're sold out across... North America, because everyone's like trying to get out. Oh, right, because it's one of the few things that you can do. Yeah, so everybody's just like quads. Well, I think quads are pretty low, but wow. BRP specifically, their plants are in Mexico, and uh, for Sidu, and they're shut down, and they reopened to make some 2021 models, and then got shut down again. So uh, nothing's coming out until so it's um, like a combination spring of next year. They haven't made enough, and there's so much demand. Yeah, like, like can you look 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 that up? Like BRP Sidu shortage. There's there's literally like if people are buying them. Demand is high, but supply is not interesting. You know what I'm waiting for? Electric Sidus. Yeah, that's got to happen skis. at some point. I think. Uh, I forget what come. My dad was telling me some company's already like working on them. Well, that I Tesla made that anything. quad. Yeah, like, yeah, is that coming? I I, was just I for assume fun. it probably will come out someday, but it's I assume it's also not like anywhere like on like an important. He probably scale. just made it for that one line. Yeah, oh, we also made a quad. Yeah, yeah. so they could show the ramps yeah, putting just, it into the truck. Yeah, exactly. They didn't yeah. want to put in a gas one. You know? I would. The thing is with that, it looks dope. I would feel so bad riding that through mud and trails. Like you've seen, you saw the video. Oh yeah, for the R five. Like imagine throwing the Tesla through that. I feel like it would just get destroyed. Or that one was it a TikTok you sent me where the guy was just like. <laughs> Head to t he looked it <laughs> yeah. looked like a like a three D render of like a brown real. blob what, like that was on a truck like it was just this guy who was so covered in mud <laughs> that like you couldn't tell what was going on but you see you see wheels yeah. spinning yeah if you're doing that with the the he's Tesla side a, truck he was stuck in a mud bog yeah and he was just trying to he was trying, trying to, get, to out. get it out and there was just mud everywhere yeah. I, I I'm I'm sure you'd be able to do that on a Tesla quad. If they're gonna, if they would ever bring it out, I think the thing is, I would just feel bad, yeah, doing it on a it's Tesla like quad. Nice I'd be like, should, yeah. I, should I just be like not? You, know, you get a nice super seventy three bike, right? I don't want to take that through mud and yeah. get it all dirty and gross. Like I want to just. It'll change the the experience also a lot. Like like quads are really loud, jet skis are pretty loud, or boats or whatever. And yeah. so like if it's electric, it's just like how just much sliding does around. it cost to fill up? Because you have a spark. I have a spark. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna actually. I don't know exactly. I, was, I don't. I my dad usually gets the gas. So, you know, oh, yeah, it's, his, you know, it's like it's like I almost burn through a tank like every time I go out really? there. Yeah, but you ride for like you're like I spent five hours on the lake today. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. what? You rode around for five hours? Like that's yeah. a lot of time. Yeah, that's probably why it happens. <laughs> I also ride like hard, like full sport mode. Yeah, like, yeah. It's not like, like you trim just all like, the way up yeah. and I just mob like yeah. nonstop. So I look down and forty minutes later or, th or thirty minutes later, I'm like, oh no, I'm below half. <laughs> yeah, I guess for you, you probably have to like go to like a Tesla supercharger to get to get some yeah. more electricity out or something. And I'm always going to get coffee at that one place on yeah. the water, right? There's a yeah. Starbucks up there, so I'll mob up there, full speed sport <sighs> mode, head down. Takes me twelve minutes. <laughs> there's there's these. One of my like dreams, there's these uh, electric surfboards. The ones you know has been riding? And so those ones are cool too. I want to try that. But then there's also just like, it's just a surfboard. like So that one's a foil board or whatever. Like where a fin and a motor, yeah, it's right? Yeah, fin and a motor. And that looks super cool. But there's also one that's just like a, just a surfboard. And I just, I want to try it so bad. I've, I've been like messaging them all the time. Like, do you guys have any Canada? Like I'll drive let's anywhere. Get some of those, let's get some of that stuff out here. We can make uh, some videos on it. Yes, please. I want to try the thing you and Olsen was doing. That, did Me you see too. that vlog that he did? 
Yeah, with the dolphins. What the heck? That was incredible. It was so good. It was so good. That actually, footage didn't even look real. I'm like, did no. he story box those dolphins? Yeah. <laughs> you got a really good CG because artist. To that just like, looks like it's something that just doesn't just happen unreal. unless it's in like a Hollywood movie. Yeah. I mean, I think that is like one of those. Like, I'm sure they've done that a bunch of times. It doesn't happen every time. That's like a once in a lifetime experience. If you guys haven't seen it. I love that guy. Worth. Yeah. I. He's great. There's something about, I don't know, like vlogging seems to be a little bit dead. Like it's not as popular as it used to be in the Casey Neistat glory days, whatever, yeah. you know. And now like watching something like you know since vlogs, like, I don't know, there's just something really nice about it. I enjoy it a lot, actually. I, I think what I like about it is he's just, he's been consistent with himself and his style. Yeah. Like he hasn't changed anything. Like he still does. He's very unapologetic with what he's into and what he and where he lives and the things that he films. And I've respected that a lot about him. Yeah, He's pretty and, open uh, about his life too. It's yeah. just interesting. And like, it's just like, there's just always a good, like even from right down to his color grade, yeah. there's a good vibe. Yeah, It's just a good, colorful, fresh, fun summer vibe. Feel goods. Yeah. And, and there's a, it's an interesting mix of like, like I don't, I don't know personally how wealthy he is, but it looks like they're quite wealthy, well off, like houses, big house in Marbella or wherever they are. Uh, but he doesn't seem like a rich dude to me. Like th I just watched the vlog where he's like, he's like, I don't know if he's like renovating, mean, he's fixing a toilet in his house. <laughs> and he's talking about how his father-in-law has his like arm, like shoulder deep in the toilet thing, trying to unclog it. And he's just like using like, like there's other workers, like construction guys or whatever, like fixing it, whatever. And he just like, you takes the the jackhammer and he's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna find this. They're trying to find something like a manhole or something, whatever it was. I don't. I'm not a construction guy, clearly. And he just starts doing it himself, and I'm like, like I like I like this. Like it's like this like rich uh, quotations. I don't know how rich, but like it seems like they're really wealthy. But then he's not like he's not scared to just live like a normal dude. Also, you know, yeah. he's not living this like. like it doesn't look fake. I think that's what it is. It looks very genuine. I think me. what you're saying is like the wealth is apparent, but he's relatable. Yeah. He hasn't let it change him into someone that's, um, I don't know, obnoxious from, from something like that, maybe. It's like if somebody gave me that house, that's how I would be kind of yeah. thing. That's how I would react. Yeah. That's how I would, I would want to try to fix this myself or whatever, you know, like yeah. it's like, it's kind of that feeling. It, it feels more genuine. Whereas like, uh, like sometimes like if you have a lot of wealth, you want to like kind of like show it off and be a little bit like my life is better than ever. And then, you know, says in there like cleaning just, a toilet. Just, just like, elbow deep in a toilet. Yeah. Just showing yeah, like really what the like real him. life is actually that it, like it's not all high life all the time, you know? Yeah. And, and nope. That's one of the things. Um, oh my gosh. That's the footage from the dolphins. Yeah. Eh? Oh. So was Benny shooting this? I think so. Yeah, Benny was there for sure, and he shot some of the three sixty. Some of them was shot on three sixty, like the close ups of the board and stuff. So good. We're watching right now, guys. Um, you Nelson surfing on an electric motor board while dolphins are jumping and swimming around and underneath him. There's just so much like absurd. <laughs> like first of all, the electric well, yacht surfboard thing. Yeah, <laughs> yacht electric surfboard, and then just let's add in a few dolphins with this but perfect at sunset. Go back there. So there's a shot that you just went by where like the, underneath the board and like the water is that's dripping the, underneath the board and it's so clear and I'm so sure that's crisp. The 360 camera. That yeah. right there looks so good. I thought the same too, that, but I'm pretty sure that's the 360 camera. He's holding it. 360 cameras yeah. are great for action. If you're listening and you want to know what we're talking about, the vlog is called Surfing from a Yacht and this happened. Vlog two, season five, now part two. Now you know two. what happened. Now you know. <laughs> Dolphins happened. And, and just in general, he's a, he's a fun guy to watch on YouTube. So I recommend checking him out. He's one of those guys that I would like to meet. And I don't know if it's, he's from Sweden. I'm from Finland. Like, I feel like I would just like get along with him. I actually yeah. talked to Benny. He showed me some of this footage before it came out. Like Benny too, super nice guy. Like yeah. it's, it's just really nice meeting people in, in our space that are just like yeah. really cool. Like people that you get along with and you're not like, we're just hanging out because uh that's the one thing I've, yeah i've really enjoyed that like there's no reason to be any other way yeah right we're all just doing yeah doing stuff we love having fun making vids yeah sharing our footage that's yeah. all it should be just so. normal normal people in the end i think that's one i don't know if we talked about this on the podcast but that's one of the things that bothers me about stuff like instagram sometimes is like you just get the highlight real stuff and that's why i like youtube is that you see more of the actual life like you see 
okay, like, yeah, he's he's surfing with freaking dolphins on an electric board and yeah, that's insane. And then like, I don't know if it was the same one, but like, or the next vlog, like he's cleaning a toy. Like yeah. everybody goes through the same stuff and like your stuff might seem really like crappy, but like they have things that they're dealing with also. And yeah. like when we w look at Instagram or something, it's like, wow, like everybody's just having a good time and I'm here stuck at home, like, nothing to do right now and nothing interesting's going on. Like, I don't like my job or I don't like what I'm doing right now or whatever it is. And then you're just looking and you're like, wow, this really sucks. You know, <laughs> I, I wish there was a way to like change that. Like, and that's what, maybe that's why I do like YouTube so much is that there's a little bit more time to give a little bit more context. Uh, and that maybe even like podcasts like this, it gives us even more time. Like when we were talking on the last podcast about like the R5 and the, the, the hard, the hard parts about like reviewing things yeah. and all that. Like we get to talk things through and like, you know, people see a different picture of like what it's, what it's like being us, you know? I like that. It just connects you to all kinds of cool, like filmmakers. Like didn't, aren't you friends with the guy that made that Bronco ad? Yeah. So you, so you, you sent me the new Bronco. So the new Bronco came out for Bronco. Yeah. This is another, another <laughs> yeah. Ford sponsor. Like, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, and you're like, this is incredible. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is insane. And then I, my my friend Ryan Booth posted on Twitter. He's like, oh, some new work. And it was that Bronco ad. And I was like, what? Like, Ryan, oh, you worked man. on this? Like, that guy, if you don't know who Ryan Booth is, he is incredibly talented. Like, yeah. I, I feel like we're, we're, we're good at doing YouTube and like, you know. Look at that horse but, running. Look at that. But this is like, you're good at filmmaking. I don't know. This is like Hollywood level, like insaneness. Like the second Brian Cranston that, started just talking, I was like, oh, yeah, he's Brian. like, there's still some wild out there. And I was like, I'll take it. Yep. I'm sold. So yep. I'll have one. I don't know what this is, but I'll, I'll, yes. And then when that eagle, like the, you hear that bird, like, ah, and it's like, you need a Bronco. And I was like, ah, yes, I do. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Sold. With the horse running before the reveal, it's like, you can see it just coming out, like all those stallions. Bam, all the dust are kicking up, but you can see the Bronco behind it, but you can't really see it. And then like the beat drops and it just crushes into front, into the front. This bam comes right in. It's so good. And right, like the grills right in, like that shot was just incredible after it broke off from the horses. And I was like, <gasps> and then dude, that one tracking shot where he's like, no matter what terrain you're riding in, if it's a logging road, snow road, mountain yeah, road, change, sunny road, whatever, and like all the environments are changing, changing with the wheels tracked to the same place. Hot damn. Hot damn. It has like all the like the things that you need from a car commercial, but it's so much more. It's not like, a, you know, com car commercials are all kind of the same, I feel like. Yeah. This is different. Yeah, I feel it's like if they were like, Pete, how would you make a Bronco launch video? I feel like I, that's what I would yeah, do. Yeah, this is what I want to do. That's wanna what do. I would try to do. Yeah, try to. I don't think I would, either of us would succeed. I <laughs> would hope. Yeah. You know what? I bet, I bet Maybe if, if they came to us and said, make the Bronco video and here's like no budget and you and I got all the equipment together and we got a crew and we got producers and people to help make something like that happen, we could do that. I, I'm like full confidence. I want to believe that, but, but I also look at don't some know. Of the stuff, I don't know. Look at some of the stuff we've pulled off with just like vlog cameras and with I no agree. crew, no notice. If we had, I agree. Okay. So that, that shot of the horse running, like we get a camera car with like the, the right stabilization rigs yeah. and the right cameras. And we have multiple operators all pulling focus wirelessly and you've got directors and producers it and just, people helping. Then yeah, I think we could do just that. Stresses, I, think, look at that. I think that's the thing is like, it stresses me out thinking about like, oh, how do we get those horses and stuff like that? But it's not two guys working on this commercial. No. I don't know how many people worked on it, but I'm sure it's a, a ton lot. of people. Like there's animal wranglers, there's yeah. car people, there's and the, all the filmmaking, okay, let, lighting. Send and, the horses that way. Yeah. Okay, can we do it again? There's probably like Russian arm truck things with like the camera on, like this arm on the truck and yeah. filming, like black, all that stuff. Arm. Yeah. Like there's so much stuff. It's not there's just, a, Ryan Booth didn't do everything. Yeah. He was a big part of it. Big piece of the but puzzle. But like he didn't do everything. There's a shot too where like there's a bunch of people running, I think with flashlights or something in the forest for like two seconds. Yeah. And I just, it was perfect. I was like, man, that's so rad. It's those little, little details yeah. that make and like this there's feel a shot very different. While the, the, the Bronco is riding. Can you go back to when like all the stallions are running? I think that's the older Bronco that's driving with them. And then 
it's almost seemingly like the, the the shot doesn't change, but then the new Bronco emerges from it. So look, that's the old Bronco. Mm, yeah. I don't even know if you picked that up. So that's the old one. And then boom, look at that. New one comes out and the shot doesn't even look like it changes. Same, yeah. And it's just like past, present. And I just got goosebumps right now watching it again. I've seen it probably 35 times. I believe it. Yeah. You're not- like today. You're like a Ford Super Just fan. today. <laughs> <laughs> you woke up and it's the first thing you do. Just like Bronco ad. Yeah, oh, you wake yeah. up. My wife's like, good morning. And I'm like, you need a Bronco. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <you're> like, <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just so yeah. great, man. I'm just so, so pumped on it. And you know what? I don't care who, like what brand would have done it. If Land Rover had this, had this. Oh yeah, no, yeah. Had this ad, I would have been just as psyched because like the filmmaking and all the little subtleties that I feel like a lot of people won't pick up. Like that whole old Bronco to new Bronco, I bet that was missed by 60% of people that watched this. Yeah. We see those things. Or they don't even like think, like they don't even think like, oh wow, they did. Like it's just like, yeah. oh look, it, oh, I there noticed it that it's a new one now. You know, like they don't, they have no appreciation for like how hard that is. I think we think of like the process of yeah. like what it would have taken to get that like perfectly tracked shot. And how happy you would be yeah. when you got that shot oh, and you look oh. playback, you're like, oh my gosh. And you exported it and send it to everyone you know. Yeah. You do that every time. Please, please don't share this. Look at that. I'm under NDA. Like, don't share this. <laughs> where is that cut? It, it doesn't cut. So were all those masked, all those like legs of the horses masked out perfectly? I think so, yeah. I think the, the horse shot stays the same and then the car's just masked. Yeah, it's just this front horse. Actually, there's, well, there's two horses there. They're being masked. Oh, yeah, this, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, just masked. It's like, a, like that's actually not that that hard to do. But it is still like precision control. See, that like, was perfect. Yeah, that was absolutely perfect. And that's like that's the difference between like a YouTube transition. You know, YouTube transitions. Yeah. You like you can tell. Yeah, <laughs> that's like we don't want to draw any attention no, to it. No, we it don't want to make it known. It's just like yeah. I want people to miss it's it. It's not about the filmmaking. It's about the like the, the the Bronco. You know. Do you ever see stuff like this? And then I think two things happen to me sometimes. I'm inspired and I'm like, let's go. Mm -hmm. I just want to make cool stuff. And then at the I know same the other time, one. I'm like, I suck. Well, I'm done with this. Yeah, yeah I, I don't, I'm not cut yeah, out for this. I'm going to go back yeah. to the lake. <laughs> I think that's a universal thing. Yeah. Every time it's like, and I don't know if it's like what headspace you're in. Like if you're already like kind of pumped and you see something like this, you're like, oh, let's go. You know, like this is awesome. And then if you're kind of down, like, you know, if you're a YouTuber, your views are down, or if you're a freelancer and you haven't gotten any work, and then you see that, you're like, well, I'm never gonna be able to do that, you know? Like, yeah. I don't know if it's that, yeah. but it's it's everybody has that. Which, by the way, if you are a YouTuber and your views are down, I find that every summer they go down, and I call it the summer bummer. <laughs> and it's almost every single summer, everything dips, and then I, it comes back in the fall. I. I've just, I don't know if this is true or not. Might be just that sometimes my content sucks <laughs> and sometimes it's better, but I like to just attribute a lot of things to the algorithm because then it takes off a lot of pressure. Oh, you have the giant water bottle again. I'm doing good if today. you're hearing water sounds, it is not Peter taking a piss in the corner. It's just Peter pouring water out of a massive water bottle. Okay. Our are we done? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I totally lost my train of thought now. I'm, YouTube videos, views. Right. Your I videos. I like to attribute it to the algorithm. Uh, like it makes me feel better about myself. It doesn't, like I don't stress. It's like there's outside and, and in some way, this is 100% true. There's always outside like, you know, things that are affecting. And so like you can't control everything. No. It's not gonna. And this is also uh, like, one, as soon as you have like one bad month in anything, you always like you feel down or if you have a good month, you're feeling yeah. up. So like, it's like, you got to fight that to like kind of separate yourself from that. It's an ebb and flow. Yeah. As long as you just keep going, it'll, it'll keep, you know, yeah, you'll keep getting better thing, and stuff. Consistency you, through the bad. You never, the, the only thing that can like destroy your career or ruin your YouTube channel or whatever it is, is you just stopping. Yeah. If you stop learning, if you stop making, that's the only thing that's going to actually just like, that's it, you know? And so like, you can't let it stop you from learning, making. Well, maybe the next podcast episode should be about how you've basically decided to pivot your channel to something else completely in the future of oh, yeah. both of our content. 
Yeah. That could be good. That could be good. I Next episode. I don't know if people are interested in that. We'll see. We'll I'm see way too comments. hungry right now to talk yeah. about that. So. You hear my stomach? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stomach sounds like the Starlight. Let's, let's go eat on a patio or take out or do some curbside takeout. Hey, whatever. Hey, curbside takeout. <laughs> one customer at a time. Good times. See ya.